Happy Sunday, you guys. So I wanted to share with you really quickly my makeup of the evening. Timer today, Time Bomb from The Bomb Cosmetics. So this is the one I picked up yesterday from Target. It was on clearance. This is in number 60 soft tan, which is summer shade for me. So I mixed in like four drops of the ordinary. This is the serum foundation in number 1.2 YG. Eyeshadow primer used the Thank Me Later I shadow primer from Elizabeth Mott. Sorry, I couldn't read it. The Bad Habit Athena palette. <gasps> it is beautiful. A gorgeous palette, especially this color right down here called Darling. Oh no, Daring. You see that color right there, Daring? Look at that, it's so gorgeous. Profusion Contour Makeup Case. Pleasantly surprised with it. Blush is an oldie but a goodie. It's the NARS blush in Madly. So it's a pretty neutral, it's like a neutral color. I layered the highlight. Um, it's the Amazing Cosmetics Illuminate Primer Plus Highlight. You can use this as a primer, also as a highlighter. And this is in the shade Rose, but when I used it, it didn't really show up on me. So I layered it with the, again, with the Pop Beauty Highlighter in Lunar Light. Since cosmetics get big lashes, water proof mascara one of pop beauty's newer lip liners it has like a little triangular shape to it don't mind my nails anyway the name of this shade is pretty interesting it's called kinky pinky went over it with the essence cosmetics this is one of their lip glosses i can't remember the name of it i'm gonna put it somewhere here on the screen here is the makeup for today or for this evening so i think it works pretty well i love the eyes though i love like how the shadow in the middle just kind of pops. So when I added another gloss on top, I used the Lorac Ultra Eagle Lip Gloss in Entrepreneur. I felt like it was just like too pink because I already have so much pink going on in the eyes. Too much pink on pink action. Good morning, so. you guys. Happy Monday. So I'm going to share with you guys really quickly what I'm making for dinner tonight. It's in, of course, the slow cooker. So we're making some Pinterest inspired ribs. It's a different recipe than the one I cooked on, I think it was New Year's Eve. Set this on high for about an hour. Hey Siri, set alarm for one hour. Okay, I set an alarm for 10.39 a.m. I'm gonna turn it down for another seven hours. I'm gonna put it on low. We are checking in on the ribs for this evening. I'm gonna have to turn this around a bit, but it looks it looks pretty good. So it's been in here now for about three, three and a half hours, not that long. I am going to take the ribs out now, and then we're gonna actually put them in the oven. Here are the ribs that's been slow cooking, and I put it in the oven for about like 20 minutes so that it caramelizes because it has brown sugar and typically for ribs um, I don't really like it when it's like smothered in sauce I like it a little bit dry so this turned out perfectly I hope it tastes just as good as it looks it's making a green bean stir fry with onions tomatoes seasoned with garlic powder sea salt and black pepper Look what my husband brought home today. So this is from Health Nut. Remember, we were supposed to go eat there the other day, but they were closed. Proud to be vegan and gluten-free. The spicy Asian, no artificial flavoring or colors. And then this one is the original house. Ooh, thank you so much, honey. Happy Tuesday. Um, I am about to go run some errands. Well, actually, I have to go pick up Darren first, and then I'm gonna drop him off back here at home, and then I'm gonna go run some errands. I had errands that I was supposed to run yesterday, but I ended up getting um, stuck at home with, you know, just little odds and ends. My makeup today is pretty simple, as you guys can see. I mean, I just literally threw on the Cosmetic CC Cream in Medium, some concealer, same one from L'Oreal and Maybelline. Hourglass blush, middle color right here because um, my makeup's pretty plain. Mascara, the same from Essence Cosmetics. Lippy is Too Faced Melted Nude. Finally out and about. It's gonna go pick up my glasses. Thank you, they're open. Here they are, you guys. Yeah. Here is my epic mess that's like literally all around me. It's finished filming a video that I saw in the Cole Guerrero 
um, upload yesterday and she mixed like 32 different foundations 14 different highlighters something like that I actually just decluttered all my makeup so I decided to pick the number seven I went with seven different foundations seven different highlighters eyeshadow primers concealers liquid lipsticks liquid eyeshadows face primers so I think it turned out pretty well but it it definitely feels like hella thick on the face that's all i could say especially the under eye concealer the under eye concealer i can tell it's gonna like crease pretty soon clean this up and i'm gonna go get the workouts done today happy and wednesday yes. i wanted to share with you guys really quickly my makeup of the day these are the three products i used that i have been testing out from rimmel it's the lasting finish breathable primer it's supposed to be like an eight hour primer. By the time you guys watch this vlog, I should already have my video, like whole review and demo video up. I use the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour breathable foundation, which also contains SPF 20, as well as the Lasting Finish 25 hour breathable concealer. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, ColourPop Yes Please palette. I believe I used uh, this peachy color right here just as my transition again i use the bad habit beauty athena a few of the colors very light handedly i think i used um truth a bit of justice medusa on the lid i only used three colors today purity to highlight the brow bone essence cosmetics get big lashes volume boost waterproof mascara profusion contour makeup case heart one of the um, Amazonian clay 12 hour blushes in the shade Captivating. Just kind of like a satin type of peachy blush. Highlights, I went with the Ofra Cosmetics You Do You highlighter. It's a collaboration with Dupe That on Instagram. My lippy today, I did like a little combo. This is an oldie but a goodie from ColourPop. It's the ColourPop Times Karuchi in the shade called Chi. Just mixed in the NYX Butter Gloss Sunday Mimosa. This is how the makeup looks today. I think the foundation actually is pretty much spot on, so it's pretty good. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go pick up Darren, and yeah, we're gonna come back home, gather our stuff. I decided to change up the lip combo because I think the Chi from ColourPop was just like too drying and it looked really crusty on my lips. I ended up just going with this combo, the Ultra Beauty Matte, Ultra Beauty, the Ulta Beauty Matte liquid lipstick from Melissa Michelle in the shade called Scandi. I'm just gonna place this, the NYX Butter Gloss on top of it. Here's the lip combo for the day. Forgot to share with you guys. Currently testing out a car that Lexus dropped off on Monday. This is the 2017 Lexus RC200T. It is a four seater, but it's, a, uh, it's actually a two door. It's a really beautiful sports car. Let me show you guys the front. She is a beaut. I'm gonna go have lunch with the hubs. Remember last weekend we were supposed to eat at this one place called Health Nut, but I guess they're remodeling or something, so they are open. We're gonna go have a late lunch and then we're gonna head over to YouTube Space Creator Workshop going on. So that should be pretty interesting because I know last time I went to the Creator Workshop, it was super, super helpful. <laughs> that was actually really really good they have like huge portions it's a bit on the pricier side but the food was delicious i have to admit and the ambiance was nice we are currently here at youtube space la we did run into a bit of traffic which is pretty much like a normal thing but it's okay at least we're here Music videos at Miss Joy Villa. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Me? I'm Roxy! Woo. Everybody, I'm Roxy. My channel is Roxy Rox TV. I do a little bit of everything lifestyle, DIY, cosplay, challenges in three different languages. Hi everyone, I'm Ivy Coco. I run a personal lifestyle blog called Ivy Coco23. That's my Instagram. And I do a lot of lifestyle, food, culture, and fashion as well. Nice. Hi guys, I'm Tiffany. I'm an actress, producer, and YouTuber. Um, <coughs> I have 
done a lot of TV shows, a lot of feature films, and I've been doing YouTube for about three years. I do Nicki Minaj impersonating, so I do a lot of parodies and comedies. Nice. So there's a story of how I met. So the Creator Workshop was definitely very enlightening. Always good to keep learning and just to keep yourself aware of you know, things that are going on. My SIM card is full. What the heck is that? Okay, anyway, I will see you guys a little bit later because I don't have any more memory left on my on my card. It's 40 right now, and I'm waiting for Darren. He's not here yet. He gets out early on Fridays. And if you guys didn't know, he is a senior, which is crazy, you know, to think about it. He's a senior in high school. He has a hair appointment at 12. Where is he? So I'm with Darren. We're here at Six Flags. Um, we just want to go on one ride. Kind of cold. We're only going to be here for like an hour or two because they close at 6. They're open 365 days a year. However, they close early every day. So kind of like a little give and take. Wow, it is like empty. <laughs> but that's okay. That means shorter lines. Means we can go on more rides. That is literally the best way time. Yeah. How many times do you get to see X2? Wait time five minutes. That was pretty cool because that was our first ride. Um, the line, remember I showed you guys, it was five minutes. So we went on X2 three times. First one went on the actual ride was like smooth. The second one was a little bit rough. And then we made sure just to go on the same, the first one again because the second one like kind of bangs you up. back in the car a little bit cold on the rides I mean there was like a breeze and stuff but it was fun so we're gonna go home now hopefully there's no traffic hey, good morning happy Saturday I wanted to share with you really quickly like seriously really quickly makeup of the day primer today the Rimmel lasting finish breathable primer foundation is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable breathable foundation as well as the lasting finish 25 hour breathing breathable concealer sorry I'm in a hurry right now urban decay primer potion. For the eyeshadows, I decided to go with Makeup Geek shadows. Peach smoothie as um, my transition. Then I went in with creme brulee on top of that to bring in more definition. For the crease to define it, I used frappe. I went in with the LA Girl Pro Primer. I created like a little space. This is called the Ofra Gold Rush eyeshadow. It's really pretty. Highlight today is from Ofra Cosmetics. Bliss. So it's bliss. Blush today, I decided to use Makeup Geek Cosmetics, and this one is called Soulmate. It's this really pretty, like, mauve pink. Contour is the Profusion Contour Makeup Case. Sorry, my vanity is a disaster. The Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. Since Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara. I first used the Rimmel Wonder Wing. Went over it again with the Ciate Fierce Flicks, the Esquito Lash Companion. Lips is the Kat Von D in the shade Bow and Arrow. Lashes are Esquito. They are a different style today. They are in the style Celestial. So here is the look that I created with the makeup and hopefully it's blended out. I hope. Here are the eyes. So this is the makeup today. Hopefully it looks okay because I was literally in a hurry putting on the makeup today. Um, because I'm supposed to be the official photographer for my mom's birthday party that people are already arriving. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to go start taking pictures and all that good stuff. All the food. Seafood pasta. Oh, excuse me, my mom's chicken. Macaroni salad. New York steak. Salad. Rilliano. My dad's fruit salad. I got the food today. So we have macaroni salad, seafood pasta, um, salad with red onions, 
uh, special dressing is really good with candied pecans, New York steak, relleno, my mom's chicken, chicken by Oli, and we have some iced tea. I really tried to make sure I didn't get seconds, which I didn't, but I did overindulge a bit with the desserts, which is not a good thing, but it's okay. It's okay. I didn't have any wine, although I wanted to drink wine, but I have to drive Darren later, so I resisted the temptation. So I'm gonna go take some pictures of them, of my mom and her friends. I have my coffee, my black coffee. Let's go outside. There's my mom in the middle, she's right there, line dancing. Hey, you guys sit inside. That's where all the guys are hanging out. Remember I was telling you guys about overindulging today? Yes. It's from Porto's. It's the... My mom said it's the Parisian cake. Oh my gosh, it's good. It has like a, a little bit of a crunch to it. Chocolate... Is it like a chocolate mousse? Don't worry, I'm not eating this whole thing. I'm gonna share it with my husband. <laughs> I'm so cute. She's got her. Uh, she's got her to-go boxes to ready to hand out to the guests. Teacher. Logic teacher. It's 6:30. It's Saturday evening. Drop Darren off at his CFCY youth meeting. It's Couples for Christ Youth. Where is the parking? Two streets down from the place where we eat whenever we go to Six Flags. So I'm right literally here at a Pyology. I'm gonna head over to the coffee bean and tea, grab myself a cold brew, and I'm gonna start editing. Here's Pyology. Actually really productive I was able to hold on a second I'm about to get run over <laughs> really felt like I was able to edit a lot of the footage for tomorrow's or from this week's vlog I wanted to ask you guys how many of you enjoy editing or doing like your work outside of your own space meaning outside of like your home um, you know just getting like a different work vibe area does that even make sense work vibe i don't even know what what i was trying to say but basically i'm asking you if you enjoy taking your work outside of your own space like if you're a work at home do you like to go somewhere else like starbucks i like being out of my element and getting a new headspace love to edit and do all that stuff at home but sometimes you know it's just nice to kind of be in a different environment other than your own if that makes any sense. So yeah, just wondering, just curious. Anyway, I'm gonna go and pick up Darren. It's in present when we sang happy birthday to my mom earlier, so we're going to sing happy birthday to her again while it's still her birthday. Still my birthday, yes. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Thank you. May oh, I have oh. many more to come. <laughs> yes. You blocked oh, your no. cake. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yay. My party is all done. Here's my parents. My mom put on her invitation in lieu of gifts. If um, you could just please donate to a charity that's in the Philippines. Her name is Terry. She's part of the Filipino ministry. Anyway, it's called the Zaratan Educational Institute. And basically, it is a school in the Philippines. Marginalized families or poor families. 
Yeah, so it helps a lot of the poor families in the Philippines. So she just to asked get education. Oh, to get education. So she just asked um, in lieu of gifts if they could just give a donation. Her friends donated some money, which, you know, it was really sweet of them. Oh, mom, did you have a nice birthday? Very, yeah. Very, very nice. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Hope you guys had a really great week. And we will see you guys next week, next Sunday, for another weekly vlog. Have a wonderful week, you guys.